Hello, this is Genus. Um, I'm going to talk about um, my research on my master and PhD about understanding physiology of combined salinity and water like intolerance in cereals. Mm. As we know, barley and wheat are two of the most important cereals in the world, barley for producing food and also beer and wheat for producing food. Um, and on my project, I'm mm, looking for um, two kinds of stresses, which is called salinity and water logging. If I want to talk about salinity, I should say salinity is one of the uh, most severe abiotic, abiotic stresses affecting uh, crop production in the world. And um, this stress becomes worse when it combines with a, another uh, stress like water logging. And in many parts of the world, like here in Australia, USA, Pakistan, India, Iran, Thailand, Egypt, and many other countries, these two stresses coexist, and um, they severely uh, affect crop production. And as we know, in 2050, the um, world population is going to be around 9 billion. We need more and more um, cereals for feeding people, and we need to solve our problems in our stresses. Uh, in salt stress in soil, we can talk about um, three subjects, which is, which the first one is physiological drought to plants. I mean, salt stress causes physi physiological drought in plants, which reduces osmotic potential of the plant. And the second is excessive toxicity of um, sodium and chlorines to cells, which causes disruption of cell organelles and their metabolism. And it affects plant growth, and finally, it decreases plant yield, which is the most important far part for farmers. And the third is high uptake of sodium and chlorines, which causes nu nutrient Im imbalance in plants. And about the water logging gas stress, um, which it can be called flooding as well, um, we've got O2 deficiency, which causes low energy and low internal water in the plant, in the plant system. The reason I've started this research because I wanted to know which physiological char characteristics were affected by combined sanity and water lying stresses. We've started with eight varieties of barley and 10 varieties of wheat from a range of sensitive to tolerant. You can see the varieties on the board. And uh, we worked on three kinds of treatments beside our control. For our control, we used a uh, one half whole gland um, solution uh, for our control plants. And for salinity, we use again one half whole gland plus 150 millimolar NACL. And for water logging, we use 0.2 percent agar solution. And for combined water logging salinity, we use 0.2 percent agar solution plus 150 millimolar NACL. We, uh, I have started the um, experiment uh, with planting the seeds on smaller, uh, smaller pots. Um, in growth room with control temperature uh, with the air pump um, because uh, the seeds need uh, aeration for germination. And we kept them there for four days. On the fourth day, we transferred them to the main pots. Uh, as you can see in the um, photo, we used the black pots, black pots because we wanted to uh, avoid any kind of light to the roots because it's hydroponic. And in, in soil, there would, wouldn't be any uh, light to the roots, but in hydroponic, we need to cover it. And um, after um, after two days, I, um, after two days of transferring, I mean, I mean, in the sixth day of the planting the seeds, we started the treating. And uh, eight day period, in the 14th and 22nd day, we did the sampling. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's about sampling. And uh, what uh, we and we measured biomass. I mean, fresh weight, dry weight, and length. Uh, and also chlorophyll content by, content by chlorophyll meter, fluorescence by fluorometer, osmolality by osmometer, and sodium potassium content by flame photometer for each time of the sampling. Preliminary results. Um, okay, as it's my introductory seminar and I didn't uh, analyze all data yet, um, I'm just uh, yet looking for Excel work and try to find more results. But as a brief, I should. Uh, if I want to talk about fresh weight decline first, uh, I should mention that there is a good correlation between fresh weight decline and a scoring index in salt treated plants. If I want to uh, explain what um, a scoring index is, a scoring index uh, zero refers to the plant survival and four to the totally dead plants. And which is uh, more exciting in the, in the results is that.
uh, the salinity tolerance index also correlates with fresh rate decline caused by water logging, uh, which is about 0.45. And as a result, um, we plot decline caused by water logging via, via decline caused by salinity. We have an incredible high correlation, which is around 0.9. And this may indicate that salinity and the water logging tolerance may be underlined by a common mechanism. And we can, talk, we can think about RS production or tolerance as a common denominator. In future, uh, I'm going to um, the answers of these questions. Uh, uh, of is there any difference in responding to RS under single combined salinity and water logging stresses? And also, what kind of common signaling pathways is shared by salinity and water logging? And what happens in cell scale of the plants? And my future work, I'm going to measure membrane potential because uh, mm, better membrane potential maintenance is uh, essential for both salinity and water logging tolerance. And therefore, um, I plan to measure MP in those varieties and thus um, test this hypothesis. And the second, I'm going to measure potassium fluxes. And fluxes, because fl um, fluxes would be measured to test if tolerance to salinity is confirmed by tolerance to water lying as well. Thank you for your attention.